Today we'll see the Silverstone British Grand Prix, which of course is my home race. It's also our teammate David Coulthard's home race as well. Big race today, and of course we had that fantastic result last time out. We just barely scraped a win. We made it very hard for ourselves, and we even claimed a 1-2 for the team. The momentum is well and truly with us right now. I said our championship starts in the last race. That's exactly what happened. We need to keep up the momentum today. We've also got the best aero in all of, all of the sport right now. Around a circuit that's very, very aero dominated. So, fingers crossed, we can have a really positive result today. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, let's skip some time then. We're going to go. Oh, well, the first thing is going to be this front nose cone structure, which is the ultimate weight reduction upgrade. So, we want to see some green, ideally, although we should, I think, <laughs> be able to get it on the car. Even if it fails on us, we should hopefully be able to get it on the car. We rushed it on purpose to, in theory, guarantee it goes on the car. But I'm hoping we have got enough time to do that. We've definitely got enough resource points. I'm hoping we've got enough time as well. So let's skip some time here, guys. We want to see some green, ideally, because then it's definitely on the car. If it goes red, hopefully we can still afford to get it done. Ultimate weight reduction upgrade. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's gone on anyway. 40% chance of failure. Doesn't matter. On it goes. What a big upgrade, that one. Uh, nothing else to do there, guys. We've got nothing else to spend our resource points on. Uh, oh, we've got some rain forecast for practice too. Nothing for quality in the race, which, to be honest, after that full wet race last time out for the Canadian Grand Prix, I'm not upset about. Uh, and we are now the best team. Look at that. I'm surprised. It's like a two or three week gap. Ferrari had no upgrades. We're now comfortably the best team in F1. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. All right. That's filled with confidence. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's get a banker in. Just keep an eye on the tire temps for me. They're normally okay with an upgraded car, but do keep an eye anyway. Oh, let's take a big lift there to make sure I've kept the, 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 the lap legal. Yeah, definitely got more grip now, but that, that, that's just the tyre wear and the and the, the, the rubbered in track. Oh, that's disgusting. Just turn, car. We need more front wing, seriously? Keep pushing on the in lap just to get an idea of what we could have done if we had a bit of a cleaner lap. But there's, there's our banker. Not completely abysmal. Probably will be right near the back. Yeah, slower than the Haas. Six tenths off. Top guys right now. Okay, how far are we off? 1.7 seconds. And if we can be in attention for contention with pole, you know, that's an awful lot of time. We can maybe find a second and get a Lonzo, but 1.7? I'm not so sure. Anyway, we'll put in enough fuel this time for two laps. In case we do want to do two. I want to find at least a second this run, really. I should be able to. It sounds a lot, but of course, last one was on the mediums. We hope we've got a bit more rotation in the car. And the last one wasn't that clean anyway, so come on. Nice, definitely rotating a lot better now. I'm sure the soft's helping a little bit, but again, the balance doesn't normally change on softs. Six tenths now, let's keep going. We carry more speed next time, but again, we're about a second up now. Let's keep going, we should get a bit more. That was better as well, much better. 1.4 seconds found lap to lap, wow. Up to P7, that's more like it. I know there's a bit more time through here as well. Come on, let's do it, let's find it. Oh, that's on the limit. That's on the limit. Didn't even find that much time, though, because I was lifting on the exit slightly, but... Let's do it. Not bad. Didn't really find much time ever since the first sector, but up to P6. Bit of the Ferraris now. We'll definitely box this lap. I'll increase the anti-roll bar by two clicks. I think I might just leave it like that for now. We are two and a half tenths off pole, then. We are very close to it. Uh, looks like most of it's in the final sector, interestingly, but... Two and a half tenths, that's not too bad. We can we can maybe find that time, but look how close that is, look. Two and a half tenths between P6 and P1, and, and I'm sure Lando will improve his time as well, so it'll be top seven. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, two and a half tenths to pole. Let's find a time if we can. Don't disallow it turn one. Look a small lift there to be safe. Slightly over rotated me on the exit. They had to slightly adjust for it. We found a decent chunk of time there. That would be all in the anti roll bar. Tenth and a half. Come on. DC's gone pole again. Come on, come on, come on. Not great. Somehow still matched my previous, but wasn't great through there. Every tenth is going to count. We know how close it is. That felt good. That felt good. We found a chunk of time there. Don't think it's enough for pole, but it should put us a lot closer. P7 up to P4. Not bad. Not bad. 
We let our teammate beat us once again, but it's so damn close at the front. It seems we've got the AI set about right as well. It's so damn close that I'm happy with that. <sighs> there you go. I was right. Look how close that is. Less than three tenths covers the top seven. Mad. Even though we got out-qualified by our teammate. <laughs> with all our setup struggles, all the way through practice, all the way through quality, we were tweaking it all the time. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. And interestingly, three different teams in the top three as well. Very interesting. As Thomas just said, we need to use the RNG wheel to decide our starting tyres. That could ruin this test, but we'll see. For now, let's see if there's any penalties. We should be P4, our teammates should be P3. Should be Leclerc and Verstappen on the front row. It is, yeah. Let's hope our teammates still P3. Yeah, cool. All right. So, before we get into the randomised race, randomised start tyre. To be fair, I think the game thinks it's not much different. The softs look like they're quite quickly. I would go for that strategy, though. So, I would like to start on either mediums or softs. What are most of the AI going for? Very mixed bag. Softs or mediums? So, in other words, hard's the wrong choice. Anything but hards, please, RNG wheel. Anything but hards. <laughs> Good! It's like it's got voice recognition. As I said, look, if you compare the top strategy to the bottom strategy, the game actually thinks it's two seconds slower. It's not disastrously bad, but this, this won't be a fair test now. I suspect it's going to be hard soft, is it? Or is it going to be hard medium? Game thinks... Well, the game thinks the softs are a little bit slower. And I, tend, I tend to find that as well, actually. I tend to find that it's, it is actually a bit better to get on because the hards don't tend to be a great race tyre this late in the career mode. You tend to be better off just getting on that tyre super, super early. I mean, look, at, look, at the, look how wide that window is. Projected race time there. Half a second down on what it's predicting there. Then two tenths, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, three tenths, five tenths. There's about a six lap window there where there's only a one second swing in overall race time. It's nothing at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure hard to medium is going to be better, even though it's not the strategy I want to be on, but it's what the RNG wheel has chosen for us. The game's given us 5.1 laps spare fuel, so I'm going to put, reduce that down to 4.5. That tends to be... Oh, sorry, it gave us 4.1, reducing down to 3.5. That tends to be okay. That'll do. 0.1. Lovely. Lovely. Come on. Hard tyres, guys. Everyone around us is on, well, not hard. Softs or mediums. So if we can have a good start here on hards, it'll be a miracle. But we've got to try and do what we can. The RNG, will, the RNG gods have spoken. Let's do it. Did not have the grip to do anything more than that. Three wide. Ah. Almost pushed me, but they don't. Back up inside the Ferrari. Squeeze him out. He does back out of it. Nice. Okay. Back up to P5. Only lost one position there, which, considering one hard, is not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Let's see what we can do now. These are not going to have the pace, certainly, of the soft runners. But we'll just do everything we can in this race. Luckily, we've got very good straight line speed. I, d I do think that AI have had a buff in Season 3, particularly the race for straight line speed. We found, we found that in Baku. They seem so quick in the straights. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, look at that. We have got a good straight line speed compared to that McLaren, at least. Gain on the Red Bulls as well. Lovely. Lovely. That's going to make it me very hard to overtake. Interesting when DRS gets that enabled, though. Oh, my God. So much under here. Just to keep it clean. He's having a look at the inside. Give him a touch of room. Unfortunately, it's cost us both a bit of time in doing that. But I felt like he was going to hit me if I didn't give him the room. So didn't want to have a crash this early on. He's very quick on those softs. We really need to defend. Just hoping those softs really start to go off quickly. The game thought they were only going to last, what was it, like 10 laps max? I don't think it's even that much. I think it's more like 8. So the longer we hold on, hopefully the more one those softs get. get. We're holding our own though, you know. Compared to the medium runners at least. Soft runners definitely quicker. Look at the, the leaders just running away. But we're doing all right. Come on, can I stick in DRS range of these red balls? That'd be incredible. Oh, just not inside a second now. Can we stay here? No. Oh, that's an annoying warning to get. And they're probably going to get out of DRS range in this next turn, to be honest. Oh, I just haven't got the grip through there. I've got low wings and AI. I'm not losing too much, though, actually. I'll lose more. Come on, stay in DRS range. It's going to help me a lot in defending from the McLaren. 27.5 for our teammate. We do a 28.2. Nice, nice, nice. In DRS range again. It's very helpful that they're being held up by Verstappen. If they weren't being held up by Verstappen, I'd be in trouble here. Very glad we've got Verstappen here holding the proceedings up. But I tell you what, Perez is slightly starting to fall back from Verstappen, you know. Albon is definitely the quicker car. I think he's quicker than Perez as well. But we're just holding him at bay right now with our quick car in a straight line. Look, no problem. So that sweaty first lap, we've got a couple of warnings to keep DRS. Although we didn't intend to get the warnings. 
Looks like it's paid us back because that kept us in DRS range. Now we're sticking DRS range much easier. It wasn't like that was completely in vain. I've had my warnings, both literally and metaphorically. I don't know if that's quite the right word, but as in, the, you know, I've had my scares, should we say, of the track limits. Leaders, though, looks like they're still just edging away. Our teammate's actually in the lead, by the way. I don't know if he took lead at some point. He's actually in the lead. Well, he did take it at some point, but as in, I didn't actually check if he was the lead off the start or not. I don't think he was, but I don't know. Just feel Albon all over me, but luckily he tends to get a badish exit and look how much quicker we are in a straight line with Blunt and URS. No problem. Albon is close, but not close enough. No, we're okay, we're quick enough in a straight. Okay, Harris still very much in DRS range, but it's just dropping back. I reckon these softs are now finally starting to die a touch. Yeah, cool time very much turning along that Ferrari slightly annoyingly. Never mind. Now, I'm starting to edge closer and closer to Perez. I suspect we're realistically going to need him, unless his tyres really go off, realistically going to need him to fall back out of DRS range on Verstappen to be able to overtake him. Albon's still very close company. Uh, to be honest, I'm, I thought those softs would fall off a bit earlier than this. They haven't, but that's okay. Yeah, and we're still sticking with Verstappen, which is not a bad thing. I feel it's pretty good now, you know. I mean, the hards aren't providing me quite the grip I'd like. But beyond that, the car feels pretty good. And when do these soft shot AI cars box? Is he might be at DRS range here, it's going to be close, look. He's only within a couple of hundreds of it right now. Let's get nice and close, ready to pounce if we need to. If a slide for him mid-corner. Oh. oh, I have to be careful of track limits there. I wanted to keep it flat though. I wanted to be able to pounce, we're going to go around his outside. Oh, what is wrong with the AI in this game, dude? What is wrong with them? I'm glad we can flash back in this, because what is wrong with them? Oh, they just never back out. They just, they just, gen it looks like I've come over on him there, but I, I don't, I think I left him room, actually. But I mean, there's, there's certainly always a cards with there. Okay, we now need to name him ASAP. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's the problem is, is I think if you run a default setup, you're okay, because they hit you like that and you don't even feel it. If you run a setup that's a bit on, on the edge, on the limit of grip, you, you really struggle when they tap you like that. Really shafts you. Whoa, that one's gone very wide there. Allowed Norris through. Let's stick close to Perez though. We need to get him now. They're very slow. They might be boxing this lap, but if he's not... Oh, that's deep. Where am I going? Turn car. Terrible line. I'm not going to get him now. Oh, we needed to get him that time when we were side by side. He's definitely quicker. Off that exit. Boom. Move done. Wow! <laughs> what is wrong with Perez in this game? Watch all the comments be like, oh, you didn't even have room. Dive bomb. That was a dive bomb. But it worked out. It was lovely. He actually didn't give me any room either, look. He had no intention of ever giving me any room, but I just got ahead of him in time. And then, what's he doing there? That was a big move. But look, he never intended to give me any room there, but I just got ahead of him and made the corner, might I add. There's then what is that? What is he doing? What is that? We're going to have to try and go from there. Push him out. Get in the bin, Perez. You don't like you, buddy. He's just lost two positions. That's what you get. That's what you get. Anyway, right. Now we've got Norris, who's a bit of an issue for us. Perez just costs a lot of time. Got DRS, of course. Luckily, we're still wrapping in a straight line. So hopefully, that's going to be enough. But Norris actually on mediums, by the way. He's going to be quick. He's going to be badgering us. Are they going to battle behind? They're not. Now, do they get held up by traffic though? That's the key thing. It could be some horrendous traffic. We saw some pretty horrific traffic in F1 Manager. Hopefully we can sharp pace style though. Even on hard, hopefully we can outpace Norris behind. He's one of our, one of our main championship rivals, don't forget. All right, 2.6. Looks like we're holding our own to Verstappen, which is actually really encouraging. Although Verstappen didn't have the pace of the leaders. On those medium tyres, I know they're a bit more worn than mine, but I would have thought he'd have better pace than me. Our teammate's in no traffic, which is good. Ferrari, they was turned along though. Well, he's not in traffic, but he's, he's free of him. So hopefully our teammate can just run away now. Even if my teammate wins, even if it's not me. I won't, oh, oh, I was very close. I won't be that annoyed. Okay, it's not, not as close this time. Now I've done a bit of a better lap. Let's keep it up. These hards are not good, but it's the tyre we've got right now. Let's get our heads down here. It's been a messy race so far. Half of which is called by the AI, but the other half is just me not driving well enough. So, a bit of a bigger gap to Norris. We are a little bit quicker than these guys are around right now, but our teammates just gaining so much on us. Our teammates just hit some traffic, actually. Will we hit the traffic? It looks like we probably will. I think we just get on these tires, get on the mediums as early as we can because the tire wear doesn't look too bad. We want to capitalise as early as we can. I'll slowly closing on Max now. Let's have a look. What's everyone else gone for? 
Okay, Leclerc went hard, but our teammate went medium. So if he's gone mediums even earlier than us, then most of the field has gone, well, half the field actually, he's gone mediums. Um, we're we're going to box this lap, we're going to go mediums. If the AI can make it, I can make it. That's the rule. Box this lap. We're setting mediums. It might be in a bit of traffic, but so is the AI. Let's keep an eye on the minimap now. So we'll definitely come out. Where's our teammate? Our teammate's in there. I think he's, he's ahead of that lead, that Ferrari. He's in that little tight pack there that you can see. With the hards. Oh, there he's just been free. So half of them are boxing this lap. Maybe for hards then. If they're boxing this early from mediums, it'll be for hards. Nice, nice, nice. 2.3 seconds stop. We'll be behind the Ferrari and our teammate, but not by a million miles. Hopefully we're ahead of this little pack that's coming around the final turn now. It's going to be close. I think we're going to be behind them though. Come on. Look after these tyres now and we'll finish the race on this compound. Here they come. Here they come. We're going to be just ahead of them. Beautiful. Perfect strategy. Perfect strategy. Okay, they're boxing now, guys. The, the guys that we were with before, Verstappen and... That was Norris. Verstappen and Norris. They've boxed this lap, so we've only got one lap to undercut them, so we need a good lap here. Oh, a little bit of mystery through there. Turn, please. Surely they're going hard, though. These tyres feel a bit better. Not, not massively better, I've got to be honest. They feel a bit better. They're on the pit exit now. I was ahead of the Ferrari, so I'd, I'd be disappointed if I'm not ahead of him again. Where's the Red Bull? Dang, what? I'm only just ahead of that Ferrari. The undercut didn't really work. All right, I think we can get P2, guys. I think we can get another one, two here. The clerk head also on hards. Careful, try to bit oh. Try to get a fast snap as well as get Norris out of DRS range, which I've just managed to do. Our teammate should dominate his race. There you go, fast lap of the race, 27-0. Let's hope that stands to the end now. We managed to rinse out DRS to make that happen, but that's okay. We've got us out of DRS range of Norris. You know, just like in real life, that Red Bull is absolutely rapid in a straight line. These medium tyres should be able to overcome that. Well, they don't make a difference in the straight, but I mean lap time-wise overall. We should be quick enough to be able to get past them regardless of the straight line speed. We're closing in really nicely on the clerk as well. Okay, we do get the RS on Verstappen. Nice. Let's just save the RS while we can until we get a golden opportunity on him. Which might be quite soon, to be fair, because I think we are quite a bit quicker. Save as much RS as I possibly can. I might just be able to nail him straight away anyway. Oh, I have to adjust for trying a bit there. Don't forget, we're only one warning away from getting a penalty as well. We've got that going on. Bubbling under as well. So we couldn't do on Perez, Jogging on his outside. Still almost hit us. I went so wide there to stop hitting us, he still almost did. Now he will be able to cling on to DRS for a little while, a little problem is a little while is the problem. We're not going to get him out of DRS range straight away, but hopefully we can. I just don't really want to tow these guys along, because my tyres might die a little bit towards the end, you never know. Give it my all, he's going to get DRS again though. Just enough DRS, I think, to edge him out. He's up to a second now, he'll gain a bit of course in this DRS zone. The purple sector doesn't matter too much. I'm not going to stress myself too much about it because I don't want to risk getting a, a penalty. Just trying to burn a little bit just to make me nice and comfortable clear of a stop. And so if I make a little mistake, he's not going to be back back with us. My way is pretty low actually. We're fine. Our well, teammates busy running away with this race. We are a touch faster at this phase, but not a huge amount on the same tyres. So I think the AI level was about right. This is going to be huge for both championships, by the way. Absolutely huge. Let's shift it down. Absolutely huge. A 1-2 might even see us top the championship. You know, I don't think it will, but it will get us pretty close. Driver's championship's going to be looking healthier too. Let's just start burning ERS again. Get within that one second range, and then we can save. I feel like I'm driving pretty well now, hitting most of my points. I mean, I'm not driving perfectly by any means. There's nothing nothing big going on with my driving. 27-0, another best lap for the race for me. Now, Norris and Albon battling pushed them away from Verstappen, which is good. Because remember, right now, Red Bull and Verstappen are not in these championships. Wasn't bad, wasn't perfect. Is it enough? The session point is just on the apex this next turn. It is just enough. Just. We do get DRS, but we need to keep on it because it's not as powerful as it once was in F1 manager. Alright, now we save the RS, hopefully. The only thing I'm worried about is my teammates the fastest lap from me. I think it's gonna be me and him for the driver's championship. But I don't want my teammates to get the championship off me. That's not that's not ideal. It's the problem. When you get close to them, they're another little slide, but they, they make more mistakes when you get close to them. It just slows them down, so it's, it's actually not that easy to follow them sometimes. Let's just be cautious. Cautious in the right places. So we drive quick enough. Just, just literally just want to get my charge up high. Up to, you know, maybe 80 odd percent or so. Okay, TP's out. That's the McLaren. Hopefully, actually, I'll probably take a safety car at this point, because that'll bring our teammate back to us. Yeah, I've got pretty good tyres. Like oh, no. No, 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 no. Do not retire me. Do not retire me. We're going to get a 1-2 today. No. 
No, 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 no. Please. Please don't retire me. Please don't retire me. No, we're out. Again. Again. Are you joking? Okay, what's your pace? And that caused the safety car. car Our teammate better win the race. We've lost so many points this season. I know we haven't done durability upgrades. We've only just now got the car we need to win the championship. It's only now I've been able to cut, start thinking about durability. I've said it before, I'll say it again. A slow, durable car is not interesting. If it's, if it's bulletproof reliable, but it's only capable of P10, who cares? It's not a championship winning car. It's more important to have a car that can potentially win. Coulthard comes across the line to win. Why have I had all the issues for the team and he's had none? What is going on? Verstappen drops down to P5 as well. We're now 42 points back from Coulthard. 42. And 53 back from the leader. That's less of an issue judge on the pace in that race. It's my teammate I'm worried about more than anyone else. Well, it's far from guaranteed I can overhaul that 53 points, certainly with the reliability I've shown, but it's my teammate. He's been so quick this season. 42 points. I don't think he's had any retirements. We'll check it in a minute. We're actually still advanced in the constructors. We go up to P2. We'd have been a lot closer if I finished that. A lot closer. Probably would have, only, would have, only would have been something like 10 points back. At least we knew the result. I, I hate it. Actually, we DNF at Silverstone last year as well. And I hate it when you DNF really early, which is what happened at Silverstone last year. And so you never know the result. You go, well, would my strategy have worked? Did I have the pace? At least that one, I go, well, that, that was a P2. And I, weirdly, even knowing what I lost is beneficial to me. He's not had a single failure. He scored points in every single race. I would have done the same if I didn't have failures. The previous two, I don't know. They were annoying, but not disastrous because, as you can see by Coulthard's results, we didn't have a great car there. We weren't on for big results. So, like, the previous two results, the previous two DNFs, sorry, in, in Bahrain and China, total probably cost us, like, 10, 15 points, probably not even 15, probably like 10 points total between them. So you kind of go, okay, not massive. That one's cost us 18 points, 19 points. We had the fastest lap. That is savage. Why is our teammate not having the same failures? Look how reliable he is. Other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next episode. Um, hopefully enjoy the series. It's going to be a close championship, that's for damn sure. Coulthard is putting up quite the fight. In a weird way, we need our teammate to get some DNFs. Normally, I'm not praying for that. The constructors is looking quite good. The drivers... Worrying. He's quick. We need him to get some bad luck as well as us. Anyway, guys, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.